Welcome to Planning a Journey. This particular task is a comprehension English task. And it's all about um, a family holiday going to Tenerife. So let's have a read of this together. Mitch was going on holiday with his family to Tenerife. He had never been on a plane before. And so he was constantly quizzing his dad about what it would be like. When will we set off? How will we get to the airport? Why do we have to leave so early? These kept questions kept buzzing through his mind. So he decided with help from his dad to write down exactly what would happen on their journey. And this is his journey on the right hand side. You can see here, how will I get to Tenerife? And he's documented everything which is written down according to time. So 3 a.m., the taxi arrives to take us to the airport. 3 a.m., meaning 3 a.m. in the morning, so late at night, in other words, join the long queue to check in bags at the airport at 4 a.m. in the morning. Enter the secure part of the airport. This is at 4.30, half an hour later. I will have to go through a metal detector and I will have to put my rucksack on a conveyor belt. At 5 a.m., while we are waiting to go to the boarding gate, we will look around the shops in the airport. 5.45 a.m., queue at boarding gate until the plane is ready. And at 6.30 a.m., take off. So the plane will take off into the skies en route to their holidays. At quarter past seven, the plane will serve them hopefully breakfast. And at 10.15 a.m., land at Tenerife South Airport. At 10.30 a.m., collect luggage from the carousel. And 11 a.m., board tour bus to hotel. And at 11.45 a.m., arrive at the hotel, put on swimming trunks, and dive into the pool. Hooray, he said. Tenerife is an island um, just off Spain. And you know that Spain is in Europe, and it's on the south side of the UK. So it's not actually that far to travel to Spain. So you can see uh, between, I would say, eight hours uh, from the start of the taxi arriving all the way to the hotel in Tenerife. Have a read of this again and do um, comprehend the exercise and information from this exercise in order to answer the following questions. Good luck with this.